Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here, and uh, it's nice to be back. We really haven't done a video in the last two weeks or so. We were away on vacation. We sent a couple emails towards the uh, the end of last week, but we've got 15 properties today. A good thing to do because when we send on a multi-day, it kind of mixes up the prices. Click this price link right here. It'll, it'll order them from low to high. And let's start off with this one on Fowls. I like it a lot. It's an Oak Grove or a Sumac corner. It's 1338 square feet. Uh, you do have a handy little office here, living spaces on second level, and then you've got, uh, on this model, you've got two bedrooms and two bathrooms. Uh, they also come in a configuration upstairs where you've got a three bedroom, one washroom. I tend to like the two and two a little bit better. Um, when you go inside, you can see they've done a nice job with the river rock here. I, I've seen people use wallpaper, but I love the look of the rock there, especially watching a movie. I bet you'd be very calm space, neutral colors, nice finishes inside. You've got your breakfast bar in the kitchen and they've dressed it up very well. So that could be your main floor right there. So it's a good place for a home office or just a hobby room. People use it for any number of things. Uh, so that can be a real handy space here. Love the price. We've seen this model sell up in the 370s before. Fowles is a good quiet street. There's a park close by. Uh, love it. So very, very good. Big fan of that one. Great way to start off on a Monday. So we've got Farmstead here at 419. End unit, we have seen these sell around this price range. Personally, what I don't like about this, you'll get a better angle on this. This is your kitchen wall, so it's not as open concept. So if you wanna look at the kids or have a conversation while you're cooking, it's not always as possible unless they're sitting at the table. Photos are well done, I can appreciate that. But you kind of walk through the middle of your living area. So you've got some space here and then you have a couch. So it's like a lot of people put the couch here and then the TV's all the way across. People are, are sort of walking through and it's like, hey, I'm trying to watch a movie. It's just not my favorite way of, of laying the space out. And then you've got, um, looks like nice finishes and, and nicely designed upstairs like they've done a good job with paint colors uh, so if this model if the layout is your thing then I, I think this one's not too far off based on what we've seen sell this one on Gowling is uh, is about sort of 1200 square feet semi uh, it's a little bit older so you want to watch the age of the roof and windows and so on uh, not a huge house I don't think it would sell really for for even 400 if it didn't have the the premium lot so it's really just a question of how so how much someone would spend to get that extra space right there um yeah it's to me it's okay i mean i think it's uh, the 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 layout probably isn't my favorite giddings is a good deal i think there's uh this is just over 2,000 square feet it's only a three bedroom but it's a nice open concept semi uh, you've got a three-sided fireplace here, but predominantly it's just one big open space here. Uh, the kitchen has some nice upgrades in it, and you can see the granite counters, the backsplash, pot lights, nice uh, stainless steel appliances, and so on. So anyway, so it, it looks good. It's the right size for this price, and being a semi, I think it's going to, uh, to sell pretty quick. And the selling feature on that, it's attached only by the garage. So you're not dealing with any walls that are shared inside, which is good if you've got bedrooms where you don't want to interact with uh, the neighbors directly. So Hepburn is 464.9. Similar model was listed last week on Maguire. I don't know if it's sold or not yet. It had a walkout, had very nice features, and it was listed for the same price. This is a busier street. It has a finished basement, but it doesn't have the walkout. I'd still give the slight advantage to McGuire just because having a walkout, you could always finish that one, whereas this one's already finished. Not much else you can do. It looks like it shows pretty well, and uh, and it would appear to be in the same range uh, as that one. Per, but again, I, I just think there's a little bit more value over on the McGuire one. This one on Faskin is 464.9. It's a big semi. I think it's around 2,000 square feet, but I would go over on Giddings before this one. Uh, it's kind of like, it's funny. The showing says it's one of the best showing homes in the area. I saw it yesterday. It's a little run down. I don't think it shows very well at all. What you have on a corner is usually you've got one room over to the side. You've got another room on the other side. So the side door actually splits the two rooms off. And, uh, yeah, you know, to me, it's just, I didn't find it was, uh, something that really kind of blew you away. The carpets were nice and soft upstairs. Um, but it certainly had some wear and tear. I mean, it, you could tell it's been it's been lived in. 
Yates is kind of the same way, 494.9. Uh, I believe it's 1822 square feet. Uh, very similar to the old Lindsay model. And they kind of did some, some weird laminate up on the second floor. The bonus on this one is they kind of half finished a basement. So between framing and drywall, there's probably a few thousand dollars worth of work put in. And so finishing that, if it's important to have a finished basement, maybe you get an advantage here. These are homes on Thompson. So you're pretty close to, uh, to Thompson and Yates. And you definitely get a fair bit of traffic driving by uh, right by your front door. Pringle is a mountain holly, so it's just over 2,000 square feet. Uh, it's got a really nice open concept plan. The thing about this one that's nice is that you have, um, you've got the garage that's a little bit more forward facing, which means it opens up your main floor space. And uh, they've got all the right features and upgrades in here too. They did a nice job with the counters and the cabinet selection, hardwood stairs and so on. So. Um, Size-wise, I think we've seen homes that are a little bit smaller with the double garage sell, like at 530, 540. So at 554, I think they're definitely in the game. This one on Sanderson has a finished basement, uh, probably around the same size as the previous one, same price, obviously. Uh, what you get with this one is you don't get as nice of a home inside, but you get that finished basement. So raw square footage, you're getting more with this one. Uh, in terms of features, you're getting uh, a little bit more on the mountain holly. Pickersgill is, I think, one of the strongest deals of the day. Uh, 589 gets you 2,300 square feet plus a finished basement. And you're getting some hardwood floors here. There's the family room, dining room, plus a uh, little main floor den. And you've, you also have a family room upstairs plus four bedrooms. And uh, I think a kitchen you could certainly work with. The California shutters are a nice little bonus. And there's your finished basement too. So if this one's in good shape, I think this is a great deal. We've seen this one without a finished basement uh, sell up in the 600s. So very, very nice. They're looking for a May 1st possession date. Uh, Lancaster is 609, 2355 square feet plus a finished basement. So wider lot than the previous one. You're on a 46 by 80 versus the other one's 36 by 88. A uh, little bit more mature area. Carpet in the living dining. Then you've got your hardwood. And uh, I love this design. I love the layout of this home. Looks like they've done a nice job in the basement there too. They should have no problems on this one. I think it's priced where, right where it needs to be. Green lease is a little bit smaller than the previous one. Again, with the finished basement, you're probably like 21, 2200 square feet here. One big open room, uh, nice to find big foyer right here. You don't feel like you're kind of coming into a tight space. And, uh, and then you've got, there's your finished basement. There's also a uh, kind of a little family room upstairs in addition to four bedrooms. And then you've got your green space behind. So I think they're aiming a little bit high. Uh, but you are getting a fair bit of stuff and that green space probably adds most people kind of value that at about ten to twenty thousand uh, dollars If you think about it as a buyer, how much more would you pay to not have neighbors behind? It's probably somewhere in that price range although for some people it's priceless This one on Cochrane doesn't have any description that that pulled up. I checked this link twice 2437 square feet. It's a Mattamy plan 7 I'm not a big fan of the main floor. I think it's very sort of choppy. Uh, it basically, from the kitchen, you've got a dining room, you have a living room and a family room, and there's all kinds of walls. And it's kind of open concept, but it's kind of not. They've done a lot of nice upgrades inside here. I don't believe there's a finished basement. They do have a separate side entrance. There's a small den upstairs plus four bedrooms and uh, they've upgraded their counters too. Standard lot here. I don't know, like I, I think for what you're getting here, I would easily go to some of the other stuff like around 609, even Lancaster to me has a little bit more value. Uh, different area obviously, Cochrane's a great street too. So Vickerman is 689, 3200 square feet. You've got almost like a center stair design, which you don't see often in these homes. Usually the stairs are off to the side. Uh, big open foyer, or actually that's a family room, not a foyer. And uh, then you also have a backyard that's 100 feet deep backing onto 
green space, but it's a walking trail. So you are going to see some people there. It's probably going to be people walking their dogs. I think this is a pretty good deal at 689 for what else is sold in that range. And then this one on Cousins at 799 to put some context in, it's about 200 square feet bigger than uh, Lancaster. And it's like $200,000 more. And it says you need to see it to believe it. Um, I don't know. Like it, there, <laughs> The kitchen doesn't have granite. Like it's not to say it's not a nice home, but I think that what they're asking, and it's funny because they're actually holding back on offers. So I don't know if they're anticipating competition here, but I don't really see it happening. Um, you know, it's a, Cousins is a great street, but I just don't see uh, this one selling with anything, even starting with the first number being a seven. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Never gonna get it, never gonna so that's the list for today a couple really good picks here you've got some good move up picks the first one's a good choice on fouls and that's it for today if you have any questions give us a call and we'd be glad to help you i'll put a link into the email that just shows you how you can get uh, specific property updates about homes that you're looking for. So we'll see you soon.